Very Good Diary. Hello Very Good Redbirds. Um, I've had a little bit of a snag in life this week. A little bit of a problem, something bringing me down. I thought I was coping okay with 2019. 2019. But um, I've kind of hit a wall. Hit a bit of a brick wall. Both um, I kind of feel physically and and in my mind. And it's taken me time to recover. It's taken me um, lots of physical time, lots of thinking time. I need lots of downtime to get over it and to reconsider what I've always thought and to put things together again in my in my mind, in my head. Yeah. You know? So what's happened is, you know, sometimes you always presume something or you know something. Or at least you think you know something and then you find out much later that everything you've known, everyone you've trusted, everything's just completely different from what from what you envisioned. Yeah, your thoughts about something completely change because you learn. You learn the truth and it undoes everything that you've ever known. So this week I was on um IMDB, the Internet Movie Database, and um and I found out that actually the the actor, the very good actor who plays Mayor Goldie Wilson from Mayor Goldie Wilson from the Back to the Future movies, is not actually the same actor who plays the mayor in Robocop 2. Since probably in the last 20 years or so, I've assumed. It's probably 20, 30 years maybe even. I've assumed throughout my whole life that this actor is the same. The same actor in both movies. But I was wrong. It was um, daft of me to have assumed such a thing. But now I see my mistake and I apologise to everyone. But it's unravelled my life these last couple of days. I feel like everything's coming apart. You know, you feel like you're in a in a reality that's not real. Is so it's not a reality, it's not real, it's not real, but it is real. And the harsh reality is that the Back to the Future mayor is not the Robocop 2 mayor, despite what I've always thought was a fact. It's not a fact, different actors. So, um, as you can imagine, that's a bit of a bit of a punch in the gut for me this month. It's kind of put a dampener on the whole year. It's like somebody's somebody's pulling the string out of my sweater and it's coming apart. My sweater that's the 2019 sweater that's supposed to represent my life this year that I thought was going to stay in, intact all year. It's not staying intact because I've got on one end the, the mayor of Robocop 2 pulling on it and he's saying, I wasn't in Back to the Future and he's pulling on it and he's angry with me for getting it wrong because usually I'm quite good with names and faces. But not this time. And it's and it's a kick to the gut. But um, my next step is, you know, of course to to put pen pen to paper, as it were, and and discuss it on here so that we can all partake in a discussion to help me get over it. So thanks for your time and your effort. And um, I need to look to the future now. At least I have a comfort knowing the truth. The truth about that mare. Not all mares are the same. There's good mares and bad mares. And, uh, and unfortunately there's a nightmare in knowing that mares are different when you thought they weren't. Anyway, that's the end of that. But I need to move on. I need to push through to the future. And hopefully put that sweater back together. I need to get, get somebody nice to knit it back together for me. And to push away the negativity that it's caused and the depressions. And of course the anxieties that come with it. Because they're, they're just going to beat me down like rain on a soft sandstone cliff corroding as the year goes on I'm not having that I'm not living that way again not anymore I'm going to turn over a new page I'm going to turn over that page written on it it's going to be two words different mare yeah don't assume mares mare assumptions are, are a waste of time as I've discovered and they can also be heartbreaking <sighs> so um Thanks for your time, and um, watch out for bed bugs, uh, because they can infest. They can. What happens is they like the warmth 
and the fabric of your bed and especially uh, you know as the body can sweat it pretty much harbours exactly the correct um, habitat for the bed bugs to multiply and to thrive in so you'll need to get that treated you can probably go to your local specialist store and get a special spray and also a special lotion for yourself to get rid of the itching and the um, and the flaking that it might cause but um, don't don't just lie down on your laurels there when it comes to bed bugs get it fixed bed bugs can be the bane of your existence as anyone who knows if you've ever suffered from the bites of bed bugs those tiny little bed bugs it can be an unpleasant life okay take care yeah move on with me